So head coach Tim Grove making his way to the bench here to join us on the Cougar Sports Network as the Cougars find themselves 7-0 at the halfway point in conference play. And Coach Tim Grove, congratulations on just a very, very fine win. Thank you. It was. It was um, just, you know, I we talked at halftime, and then again after the game, I just told the, the team I was just so proud of their effort. You know, the, it, was, it was just such an effort game today. Um, you know, not that we did everything well, but I, I just thought we outworked them in a lot of ways. We, we got to, you know, the most of the 50-50 balls were ours. Uh, we got some offensive rebounds and some putbacks that were crucial. Just kind of little things that, that today seemed to go our way, and, and, uh, and, and I never felt good about the game until about a minute and a half left because we know how dangerous they are. They yeah. can really shoot it. Um, but I was proud of the way we came out and, and executed our scouting report and, and just really did the things that we had to do to be successful today. And, uh, uh, but I thought our hustle was outstanding. Yeah, uh, stay in the game, yeah, just the concentration and, and to be in the game the whole way. Absolutely, and that's something we, we consistently talk about, and especially with, with games like today, you know, I reminded them at halftime again that you never know what possession is going to be the possession that wins the game. It could be the first one of the half, could be the middle, could be at the end. Um, and so we we really try to work and remind them to stay in every possession because every possession matters. We don't want uh, one little lapse or anything. We need to make sure that we are on top of it and and uh, only giving up what we want to give up. We can't take everything away. You know, they're just they're too good to take everything away. But um, you know, as you probably know, we really wanted to take away the three-point line, which I thought we did a pretty good job of today. Any shot they, they took, uh, other than that one in the first half here, where or uh, in the first half where we got stuck underneath, I thought everything else was pretty good. We did a good job of getting over top of ball screens and those types of things to force the force the dribble and uh, not allow open looks. So just really proud of those things. Yeah, one of the keys I think Northwestern will go back and look at is unforced turnovers. Yeah, I think unforced turnovers, and they're going to look at, at some of the 50-50 things, too. I think uh, my guess is he won't be happy with their rebounding. I'm not sure what we had offensively. Um, 21 offensive rebounds is huge. Um, and they're they're a much, much better rebounding team than that. So I know that will be a focus for them. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I was very proud of, of you know, also holding them to to 33% shooting and, and uh, you know, 6 for 30. You know, that's us. Uh, uh, 5 for 15. I was going to say we couldn't have given up 30 um uh, shots from the three today but five for 15 so um you know they certainly didn't shoot it as well as as they have been i would like i would hope to think that we had something to do with that but um you know they they didn't get the opportunities i don't think they normally do and and uh and our rebounding effort was solid and and for the most part limited them to one shot and just an effort game very good yeah. effort game they were able to pull tori out for that mid-range jumper today with success well yeah we really did and and she's she's done a nice job you know she's struggled at times to finish inside sometimes but then she'll step out and and knock down that 12 to 15 16 foot jump shot and when she does that she's very difficult to defend because we know what kind of presence she is inside and uh she's got the ability to score both feet in the lane she can do that and if if she starts consistently stepping out and knocking down that mid-range jump shot, she's going to be very, very difficult to defend. You're talking about 50-50. You got the 50-50 balls, but I also think you created a lot of 50-50 balls with your, your touches and your hustle, and um, you gave yourself some second opportunities and second chances. I think that's a great point. We really did. I, they were just, the, you know, they, as much as we like to think they're up for every game, it doesn't happen. They're up for these types of games. You know, you have you have two teams coming in that are undefeated in conference play. We have them at home here on a Saturday. Um, they were really up for this game, and, and I know all week they were looking forward to it. Um, but uh, and I agree. I just think that they were they were so in it um, that they did just do a lot of those things to get to get some touches and, and to create create those things. And just uh, proud that we were able to. Um, finish possessions that way and we got even even in the second half here there are a couple of times where um, you know loose balls went our way Tori picked one up and scored uh, Kendra I think maybe got one so um, those those all matter those all matter in games that are that are uh, you know with, with two te two good teams on the floor so just nice to get those nice to come out with a win yeah, today and the second half swing through the conference starts Tuesday already yeah, it's going to be a different week for us. We haven't played on a on a, uh, a weekday here in conference play yet. Everything's been on a weekend, so uh, our week will be a little bit different. Um, Monday will be a prep day right away again and, and get ready for Crown, which we've mentioned they're playing much, much better. You know, they even played uh, Northwestern here with a good game last night and and uh, interested to see um, how things go with them today, obviously. And, and uh, uh, But, yeah, it'll be, it'll be uh, something we have to get right back up for Tuesday night. You know, and we, we can't always control uh, – how well we shoot, uh, but I said defense and hustle have to travel, so we have to make sure we have our intensity and 
and our hustle, and, and, uh, and we'll see how things go. All right. Coach, again, just congratulations on a great win. And Thank you very much. And obviously another quick little hello to Ian if you're home watching. He wasn't <laughs> able to get here again today uh, battling some stuff. So, buddy, if you're at home watching, miss you. Daddy loves you. We'll see you soon. All right. We'll have you back here in two weeks on the Cougar Sports Network. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that'll be our last regular season homestand. Yep. So I suppose uh, – We'll be celebrating Senior Day that Saturday yeah. already. So uh, next time we're here at home, it'll be Senior Weekend, and and uh, that's always a tough time for us because we, you know, grow so attached to the players that come through the program, and that's always a tough day for us. But um, also a chance to, to celebrate their accomplishments. So hopefully we're able to do that that day, and uh, we'll certainly look forward to it. Okay, Coach, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice and Coach Tim Grove on today's 62-47 win over Northwestern, put them seven and zero in the UMAC, and Northwestern at six and one.